good morning class 5 welcome back again in the computer class with some dipsum it's a long time we have not met each other yes teachers miss you you misses the school and definitely you miss all your teachers we are wearing our masks and for our virus we have to stay home we have to stay safe we have to fight with corona coronavirus it is affecting all over the world and it is dangerous for each and every one stay at home stay safe always wash your hands with sanitizer and put your marks if you are out but better you stay back home stay safe now with your permission i am taking out my marks let us start a uh, class today Welcome back, class five. Miss Sandeep sir, hope all of you are fine. Today we are going to learn about the first chapter, which is known as the revolution of computing. The revolution of computer. revolution of computer revolution means changes if we go back to the ancient days people is to be nomads if i go more beyond that back people were like animals they used to be hunter they used to search food they used to eat fruits they used to eat raw meat We used to run around here and there for food. Slowly, people became civilized. Slowly, slowly, the changes just took in one day. It took time, and we changed themselves. This changes years after years. It's known as revolution. Computer also has faced this thing. It doesn't came up the computer what you see now, the laptop what you see now, the mobile you see now. Slowly, slowly, the development the changes took place in computer there was a time when people used to use different object for calculating initially people never used don't know how to do a calculation they used to hunt food animals for their food slowly they learn to exchange goods that's known as barter system So barter system is to exchange their goods among themselves. Later on, the kings introduced coins, having their images over there. They started exchanging those coins. In return of that coin, they used to buy goods. But coming to the part of calculation, still in happy period. They used to wait calculation. Whatever the calculation they used to do. They used to do in a different way. The most common and easier way was their fingers. With their fingers, with one, two, three, four, five. So they have five cattle, or five goat, or five hen, or five sack of wheat. They used to have. They used to count the fingers. They used to use the fingers for counting. Then they used to put knots. Different knots, different knots is to be there. One knot, two knot, three knot. Now with those knots, they used to count their things. Coming to the wall, they used to do scratches on the wall. One, one, two, three, four. Now this draw draw scratch on the wall. They they buy four goat, four egg. Any cattle of four, they used to draw scratches on the wall. Now suppose, suppose if I erase one of these, if I erase one of these, what will happen? What will happen? The counting will go wrong. I'm going to have a loss. There was four votes 
now it will show three both excuse me I rubbed it. Now it is three goats. Where is my the other one? The fourth one. It's my loss. Then they thought no. They can use a stick. Means they can put it in the back, pouch back, in the back. They can carry the stick. The numbers, they can keep it with themselves. Wherever they can go, wherever they are going, they can carry those stick along with them. Coming to that, next they started using their hands, arms for measuring, calculation. They started using pebbles, stones for calculation. One, two, three, four, like this. So different method is to use, but there was no proper and secure method. Different method is to use but those were not secure suppose you are having five stone come with you and one of the stone lose it what will happen there's a problem in counting then one will less where that one one no one knows because that stone gone means you are this you will have less animal, less cattle, less thing. Remember, those kind of calculation was just like that, which is not a secure one. You will not accept that. Slowly, there was a demand of a calculating machine. For 2000 years back, almost more than that, in Babylonia, people used to use a machine known as Abacus. People used to use machine known as abacus. That abacus, the machine, was a wooden frame. They used to use, and slowly, slowly, this machine was adopted by the Chinese. Now we know that in the Chinese civilization, this abacus was one of the primary, or the best method of using mathematical calculation. They, that's why it is known as Chinese abacus. We use this machine a tool for calculating for calculation. <clears throat> so it is known as the Chinese device, the abacus. So on after that, different machine was invented. Different scientists from different parts of the world, whether it is Holland, whether it is Switzerland, whether it is England, whether it is in other parts of the world, people started thinking inventing their own devices and today we have reached to our this stage of computing maybe you have gone through this chapter last year in class 4 but this year we have the same chapter but more in detail we have to do some calculation we have to learn about calculation what abacus how it is used how you can use in mathematics, especially in multiplication and division. This calculation will help you to do correctly and quickly. Since you know mathematics, you need accuracy. And in mathematics, if you want to do accuracy, you have to know proper method. So we can use Abacus as a device for calculation. We will learn about this, then we will come to know about the latest part about in this chapter that how to use the analytical computer, the computer used by Charles Babbage, the analytical engine, and today what computer we use, all use binary digits. We will have a calculation and more calculation on this binary digits, and further we will go ahead with the chapter again. Though this chapter will be very common to you, easier to you, but learning it or revising it, it will make you more perfect and more accurate. Getting more knowledge and bringing it back again in your mind and memories will be more easier and also 
and it makes your learning and your concept more clear. So back to the chapter about abacus. So <clears throat> let us, I'm going to explain you the chapter through PPT. Entire chapter will be explained by PPT. I will be there. Definitely you will, I will come to back to you again, but we'll learn through PPT today. Only.